students so good evening to all of you once again i welcome you to my youtube channel this time i'm going to give the sample questions on the history and civics of social study part 2 and this is very important for the students who are appearing the megale board of school education examination 2022 class 10 so i hope you are studying very well so please read these questions in the last moment and try to revise it also to get the good marks in your examination so let's without losing the time let's start the question here what were the factors responsible for the growth of the nationalism in europe give any any four points what is a nation what is a nation state there how is the french revolution responsible for the growth of the nationalism in, in europe then what is the name of national anthem of france and what is a napoleonic courts issue define the following term jolibarian who were the famous italian nationalist leader what is the resonance why and what the two societies were formed by Mezzini. Describe the role of the Gimsetpi Garbilla did it to the unification of the Italy. Name any two terms of the Treaty of Vienna. What constituted the Balkan state? And what do you mean by the Ottoman Empire? What, uh, what were the consequences of the Ottoman Empire? What do you understand by the term liberalization? Explain the new idea. In the field of the political, social, society, and economical support, trade supported by the liberal from from 1848 onwards. Define the term Satyagraha, what were the local movement launched by Gandhiji. Okay, what is the Robert Act? What was the consequence of the Robert Act? And what is the non-cooperation and Khilafat movement? And why was non-cooperation movement called off? And what is the Simon Commission? Who shouted the Simon go back? And what was the adopted at the Lahore session of the Congress and what did the Muslim League want from the British and what is the non-cooperation movement? A pinch of salt that took a mighty nation described the importance of the salt satyagraha in history of national movement. Define the proto-industrialization, what was the reason for the proto-industrialization, when and where were the first cotton mill started there, what was the cool Brookdale famous for? And who invented spinning jenny? And what were the conditions of the Britain before the onset of the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century Europe? And Victoria, Britain, some industrialists prepared hand labor over machine, explained that East India Company appointed Gomastas to surprise the Webers in India, explained the newly emerged cities posed a challenge to the environment and ecology during the 19th century explained the statement by giving example of the calcutta describe the condition of the industrial worker in the london in the middle of the 19th century and hey, what is the print culture and which is the first book to be printed and who introduced the printing and what is the vellum who was the marco polo describe the gutenberg's contribution in to printing press and who was the founder of the of the Protestant reform? What did he do so? And what is calligraphy? What is a manuscript? Who brought the printing press in India and, and when? Which is the first newspaper to be published and by whom and when? Okay. Who brought the Bengali edition of the Bengal, Bengal Gazette? And who was Radhara Monroy and what was his contribution? And what were the Persian newspaper? And who were the Ulamas? So what was the role of the Begum? Roveka, Rokea, Sakhavat, Hussein. What is uh, Batala? Okay. And how were the poor people benefited from the print culture? And write a note on the Press Vernacular Act of 1878. And why was the vernacular and also called as as the gagging act there explain how print culture helped the growth of the nationalism in india and who was the supporter of the omens education in india and why when did the british government pass the, pass the censorship of the press act in india what was instituted what was instituted uh, in the act there who imposed it we discussed the relationship between the print culture public debate and also the policies in the colonial India. How did advertisement help the manager, help the manufacturer to popularize their 
their production. Now we'll go to the economics part. Okay, what is economy? And what falls under the primary sector? And write the two measures adopted to create more employment. They give the one reason for the rapid growth of the service sector in India. Workers and exploited are exploited in unorganized sector. Give four reasons. Describe the need and significance of the public sector. Four point there. What measures can be adopted to remove unemployment or underemployment in India? And why is the territory sector, why the tertiary sector become more important in India? And why do Manrega 2005 is referred to as the right to walk? And what is the national income and also the per capita income? And why is the per capita income is not the true indication of the economic development there, what is SDI, what are the three dimensions of the human development, and then there, what is UNDP, what is the sustainable development, and suggest the three measures to ensure the sustainable development, what is the barter system, and what are the problems of the barter system, what are the two categories of the financial institution, what is the check, how did the Reserve Bank of India keep a check on the functioning of the banks? Explain the term credit and how did the credit work in the difficult situations? And list any four non-institutional informal sources of the finance in India. Why do poor households in India still depend on informal sources of credit? Define the money and what are the constitution of money? Describe the role of money and what are the credit institutions mentioned? There are two categories. Explain one of them in detail. How does the SSG provide the loans to the poor and what are the modern form of the money and then what is the multinational corporation, right, any three contribution of the multinational corporation MNC regarding the prediction in an economy who define globalization and what were the two main objects for setting up the World Trade Organization WTO. Okay, mention one step taken by the government to attract the foreign investor. Or investment and when is the national consumers right day celebrated and when is the world's consumer right day celebrated state any two rights of the consumer what is the need of the pos and write a note on the consumer protection act of 1986 there what is hallmark and they mentioned one impact of the globalization in india now with these uh, with these questions i end up here students and uh, once again I wish you the best of luck in the coming examination. May God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and and you like it also. So again, once again, from my side, best of luck for coming examination. Good night, students.